Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn a little bit about hot folders. As you can see here, I have a few jobs and they are all set up already. And what I want to do today is just use that first one and automate it. What we have to do is go on the tasks hot folder tab and then let's click on add to create a new configuration. Here, let's name it. And the first thing I'm going to do is just deselect active because I don't want to run it right away. And on the configuration name, invoices, hot folders. Now I select the job I want, and that's the first one. There we go. And now since I have scanned images, I will just select the import images. And then since I have TIFF image files, I will select the TIFF image import. Now that's very important. Let's edit the import options by clicking on this button right here. On this window, there are two very important settings. That is the directory where the files are going to be imported. And for me, this is the desktop and then the invoices folder. And down here, move to folder before import. You want to make sure you have some folder here, otherwise kernel scan will be importing and processing again every time the same files. So when it imports, it will move all the files to the folder you specify here. And if the folder doesn't exist, kernel scan will create it for you. Now we just click on close because everything else is good. Here we can select the how we do batch handling. I just want to create a new batch for every import session, but you can even have your custom name using some variables here. Or you can also create with using some different rows here. I will just create a new batch. And here you can select if you want to pause the task, if an import error occurs, and you can even set up a administrator email. We are going to be talking about those more advanced features on uh, other videos. That's just an introductory one. And now the other very important step is to click on the view processing options. On here, you have to go first on the on input and you can select some actions to happen here. That those are all visual basic scripting if you need. And then you have to make sure that on input finish, you select process new elements if you want to process that is, but that's the normal scenario. And then on process, you want to select the processing you want done here. Those are options are the ones I need. I want mainly OCR triggers. I want to do OCR. I want to do type detection. I want to read the fields and do IntelliTech. And now on process finish, if you want to export your batch, you just select this option and that's the one I want. But if you just want to process and then correct any errors and things like that, you just don't select it and you can send an email or just beep. So you know that the processing was done. I'll just select export. And now here you have some other options for one on export begin and on export finish. That's something that we'll be talking about on other videos as well. I'll just click OK now and then click on Save. Right now, you can edit your configurations. There you go. But all I want is to activate that one and then run it. To do that, I just click on Activate up here and I have to highlight it and then click Activate. As you can see now, the icon has changed. And now I will just click on Start Hot Folders. I will select the correct configuration and close ChronoScan. Now on your taskbar, you will see that icon and that icon. That's the console and that's the notification service. And as you can see here, ChronoScan saw the files and I'm going to show you here. Those are the files. And kernel scan will be now importing and processing everything. As you can see, you can set the delay for the files to start processing. And after that, as you can see, 
kernel scan will import and you can see the files are going to the imported folder and you even get a notification here. And after import, it will process and then export. You just have to sit and wait or do something else. And also, you can go here on the notifications and you can see that you'll get some notifications about the processing done here. Now, I'm just going to wait for kernel scan to finish everything. And that was it. Kernel scan finished processing. And if you go to the notifications, you will see here a new entry. And that's the, the entry kernel scan just did. Now, if I show you the export folder, you can see here the the folder structure and then the batch name. That's the name, the default name. I had a XML and here you can see the information. And if we go down, you can see here there, there are data errors. So exporting the batch might not have been a great idea. And we also have all the PDFs. I also had a new ones compressed PDF export. Now, if you want to open kernel scan, you can just open the notifications and you can see that's the, the final, the finished one. And you will click open. That will open kernel scan for you. And you can see that's the batch that we just did. You can see here the errors. We have some errors here. So exporting might not have been a good idea. And then again, you can have the files here. You can either fix the errors and then export again, or you cannot export and then fix the errors before doing the export manually. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.